This is Quick Tips number 41 in the Rostec Quick Tip series. Today we're going to talk about UDS. People often ask me what UDS stands for and why does it suck so much. UDS is Unified Diagnostic Services and it sucks because the people who made decisions don't work on cars. Rostec was not consulted before said decisions were made even though our consulting fees for major manufacturers are very affordable. How do I know if I'm working on a UDS module? VCDS will identify it as the protocol on the open controller screen, but most people will notice that measuring blocks function 08 is grayed out after they update VCDS. To view live data, you use advanced measuring values button and this will open up the item selection window. Make sure you have room on your computer screen for the item selection window. I would suggest VCDS to not be greater than half the screen width. You'll want to have room for the item selection window to open when needed. You can resize the item selection window and also adjust the spacing of the columns within it. What live data you can view is based on the control module you are connected to. Advanced measuring values have standardized factory identifiers shown in the location column. The description column will have the text descriptions of the data. VCDS is trying to follow the factory documentation. As such, the terminology or verbiage in the description column may use words or phrasing that are different than what you are used to. At the top of the item selection window is a search box where you can type in keywords or factory identifier numbers. Anything that isn't a match to your search request is filtered out. The clear button clears out the search request and results. With VCDS, you can create profiles that save list of live data and quickly load them back up instead of having to go through an overwhelming list of items and cherry pick them out again and again. Once you have your advanced measuring values that you want to save, click on the small VCDS icon in the top left corner of the item selection window. From the drop down menu, click on Save Selection to File. Give a short description for the file name and then save. To load a profile, click on the small VCDS icon in the top left corner of the item selection window. From the drop down menu, click on Load Selection from File and then select whatever profile you wish to load, then click Open. This concludes Quick Tips number 41, and just a friendly reminder that Rostec customers can get free vehicle tech support available through our web form. Link in the description below.